Will those of you in this audience is there yeah, the of the state boy. of Israel? Again, another demon looking like job of the hut, bro. Like, how does nobody see it? Am I crazy? Like, if I walk into any institution <laughs> and it's being him. led by a guy that looks like this, I'm like, nope. Not a, not the good guys. There's no a lot way. of people who look like this. This no. is this is a lot no of people way. actually probably relate to him. No, no way. I see this. I'm like, nope. This is the bad place. Israeli Palestinian conflict has been the focal point of geopolitical instability in the Middle East since the establishment of Israel in 1948. Although the vast majority, so you know, of the you know, I was one of the editors of Vice for nine years. You, wait, I did not know that. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, not, you, not a this, <laughs> done everything bro he was a, a columbia professor, professor. <laughs> i did not know that you were an editor for vice v music only rap music only i i you know they're from montreal i grew up with those guys that's for another chat that's for post ceasefire chat yeah, let's okay. watch this and the united states publicly support a two-state solution to try and end this conflict after decades of negotiation the final settlement has never been reached and tensions between the jewish state and the arab world continue to fester Throughout this process, America has remained firmly behind Israel as its greatest supporter. In fact, Israel receives more U.S. foreign aid than any other country in the world. Right, we know now, much of this support has been attributed to a strong, wealthy, and very pro-Israeli lobby in America. Which is true, but you'd think that the majority of the strength behind this lobby would be the Jewish community in the yeah, U.S. Yeah, we think it's APAC. Which is only partially correct, okay. because as it turns out, in terms of sheer numbers, the evangelical Christians from America's Bible Belt make up the majority of this lobby's power base. Yo. So he sent Thomas Morton to find out why a bunch oh my God. of born-again Christians Morton used to be my intern. Go on. So in That's crazy. <laughs> what a <laughs> flex, bro. Okay. <laughs> okay, That's go. That's dope. <laughs> um, one thing that I, I have to mention here is, uh, what's that guy, the dude that, that wore the, the yellow Star of David at the UN, the UN ambassador, the UN envoy to Israel? Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, what was the name, Chad? I can't believe I'm forgetting him now. The, no, not Yoav Galan. Yoav Galan is the defense minister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's uh, human uh, animal. Uh, Gilad er Erdan. Uh, you're right. No, not Concrecreus. You're right. Is uh, I think it was Gilad er Erdan. Uh. Okay. So Gilad did something that was really interesting. No, it's not Eran Morad. That's funny. You know who Eran Morad uh -uh. is? Look Sasha, at you with your little your, your Sasha Baron, Baron Cohen, Cohen. Yeah, Sasha yeah, yeah. Baron Cohen's character. Yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the one who was like able to infiltrate yes. all of the spaces in DC <laughs> yes. by portraying himself as like a Mossad like, guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Which, incredible. Again, like so easy to get access to congresspersons by being like, "Oh, I am uh, Israeli." <laughs> And uh, all from right, all right. I am stop, stop with the stop with the the, the your 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 accent is anti-Semitic. Just, <laughs> just kidding. You actually do it really well. I, Go on. So yeah, because I Put I, I, I watch a lot. I, I watch a lot of this stuff. But yeah. um, so uh, Gilad Erdan, in between the whole like wearing the star of David, the yellow star of David, to be like we have to keep killing Palestinians or mm. else this is literally the Holocaust, mm. which is so disrespectful. Between <sighs> that process, he flew to America. Okay, he flew to America. And he delivered a speech. I remember this was early on. Does this connect with the Christian? Yes. Okay. The speech that he delivered was in front of a Dallas, Texas audience at a mega church, which was very interesting. I tweeted about that at the time. It was John Hagee's mega church. John okay. Hagee. We who, saw him at the rally. Who? Yes. Not who John. also uh, was at the rally who once yeah. famously said that uh, Hitler was half Jewish oh, yeah, yeah. and actually... It's a good thing that the Holocaust happened so that like Israel could be created. Okay, okay, you're triggering Absolute, me. You're triggering me. Absolute monstrous Just, psychopath. Yeah, nut, nut job. Yeah. So why was why was Gilad Ardan uh, and other Israeli diplomats on October 27th flying to Texas to hold a Christian right prayer rally with this psycho? Yeah. Where he cited the prophet Isaiah, a dog oh was for the end times, and calls on evangelicals to help lobby the U.S. government back. Israel as a religious war. Okay, put me on. It's because of what you're about to see. Okay. Because evangelicals are the most loyal supporters of Israel. They're anti-Semitic. Yeah. And their support of Israel is is anti-Semitic as well. Like sure. they because they they believe that the chosen sons of God, the Jews, will populate that land and the land will belong to Israel. And then what will happen afterward is that Jesus Christ will yeah. come back to earth yeah. and defeat Satan. 
Yeah. In a, a war. It's a, it's a it's a triggering the rapture. Yeah, it's a cult. It's some yeah. cult shit. Triggering yeah. it's actually very cool because it's like a anime. It's insane. Mm. Um but yeah, the rapture will happen and all of the good evangelical Christians will be sucked into the heaven. During the rapture, mm. and everyone else that does not convert to evangelical Christianity, which of course includes Jewish people as mm -hmm. well, will burn in hell in eternal right. damnation. So they get rid of us anyway. Yeah. Great. So how convenient. It's it's a it's a wonderful <clears throat> win win situation if you're like an evangelical who is <laughs> right. uh, anti Semitic. You're like, right. oh, go over there, right. go to the desert. Sure. Sure. Go. go I heard go it's far warm. away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go far away from me. I don't want to be around you. Um, but also simultaneously, oh great, you're killing Muslims. That's a that's another win. The win-win for everyone over and, there. And also, you're gonna go to hell anyway <laughs> when the rapture Somebody happens. Goes, put him on. He's begging for it. So yeah. is this? All, it's all in here. Yeah. In love with the nation of Israel. Thomas Morton. Oh wow. Okay. I can't cool. believe you fucking he interned me. That's yeah, so yeah, sick. Yeah. He was our little. He was our editor. This may be the though. most important prophetic spot in the entire bible because the final act of the book of revelation is <laughs> can i just say his, uh, yeah. irvin baxter end time ministries yeah already a red flag right there crazy yeah why he, does this man one eye on america draw, one eye on the middle east yeah go on. why is this man with a southern draw talking about <laughs> talking about how <laughs> israel belongs to the chosen sons of god in the middle of megiddo hmm interesting going to begin right here at this place the bible teaches that russia iran ethiopia Williams. libya turkey and other nations will come down under a u.n flag and they will invade israel at this particular point can you imagine thousands of tanks out here in this valley rumbling fighting oh firing he's hallucinating can you imagine <laughs> like jet airplanes screaming overhead the battle is going to be fierce. The horrific multinational fighting. This okay, but just what if he's right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hear me out. What if it's correct, though? He's just preachers he's describing is the Battle of Armageddon, which is supposed to happen right here, just as soon as Israel is a fully Jewish state, which yep. is why a bunch of Christians in Texas have become the most fervent Zionists on God's green earth. While most Americans probably think that the uh, pro-Israeli lobby is uh, largely a Jewish thing, actually the most of its support comes from right here in the Bible Belt, where evangelical Christians overwhelmingly believe that Israel has a right to exist because God said so. Go to the phone right now and call that number and say, yes, I'm going to stand with Israel. Isn't that funny how all of those televangelists look like the devil incarnate too? Like, it's just, look Go at this guy. Phone. Like, yeah, this the, guy literally looks like the devil, Well, he's bro. got a little bit of Logan from uh, Succession. That's what I put, there okay, the bad guy. Same, same. <laughs> like, like, they There's always, succession they always look so f evil, dude. Like, wow. yeah, like, Kenneth Copeland is straight up the spawn of Satan. Have you ever heard him talk about how he had to get a... Uh, uh, Tyler Perry gave us a great deal on a private jet. We had to do it. Like... He is such a f villain, dog. How do you not Fuck. see it? Hassan just said dog. How? Go on, go on. So, okay, right so this now, is the call gist. Call that number and say, yes, yes. I'm going to stand with Israel. I'm going to bless the people of the Bible. I'm going to bless God's chosen people. <laughs> Will those of you in this audience is there, yeah, support okay. the state oh, of Israel? Again, another demon looking. Like, Jabba the Hutt, bro. Like, what the f How does nobody see it? Am I crazy? Like, if I walk into any institution you and it's being him. led by a guy that looks like this, I'm like, nope, not, a, not the good guys. There's no a lot way. of people who look like this. This, no. is, this is a lot no of people way. actually probably relate to him. No, no way. I see this. I'm like, nope, this is the bad place. Okay. Yeah, he's going to look at you and think you're the bad place. too. He's yeah. Look at you and be like, what is this Turk doing on my lawn? Yeah. Well, it's Stand just like, it's, feet and give it's, a it looks so support. scary. While a lot of Israel's financial support does come from Jewish wallets, there are close to 70 million evangelicals in America versus less than 14 million Jews worldwide. And given that roughly 80% of these Christians support Israel, that makes American Christians the largest pro-Israeli voting bloc in the world. Yep. About four times the size of the Jewish community on Earth. There's yep. a lot of money behind the Christian Zionist movement. Um, make sure this church show, behind me, uh, is one phone. of the biggest the, supporters of Israel, the, not just among Christians, but in the world. The pastor here, John Hagee, has raised an estimated $70 million over the course of his ministry. 
Pastor Hagee also founded Christians United for Israel. Did you hear that? Hagee raised 70 million in, by 2018. Which is the largest pro-Israel lobbying organization in America, even bigger than APAC, the organization most people assume dominates the American Israel lobby because it's the biggest Jewish one. What's dicey about Kufi is that a good deal of their money for Israel is spent on buildings and organizations. Kufi? That's also funny, by the way. Yeah, uh, Kufi, yeah. <laughs> Christians United for Israel. That's Why funny. does that mean it? Was that... You know what a Kufi is? It's a dashiki. Oh, I did not, yeah, no. <laughs> you know I the thing know. that they wore during BLM where they knelt? Yeah, yeah. The, when yeah. they kneel? I thought it was a kente. Kente, the kente, kente, kente is the pattern. Yeah. Uh, kufi or dashiki. Anyways. It's in the Israeli settlements. These are massive Jewish communities. Yeah, did you hear that, by the way? Most of their most of their spending goes directly to funding and facilitating Israeli settlements. He's built well within Palestinian territory in violation of international law. The settlements are run by some of the most fanatical Zionists who believe the Bible entitles them yeah, to their land the cap. and that ceding any oh, of it back the to the Palestinians yeah. would You're be right. a violation Sorry, of God's law. God gave them that land. They own that land. The vibrato is crazy. Well, there's nothing wrong with Christians supporting Israel. The way these Christians have chosen to do so puts them firmly on one side of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, one that's directly opposed to the U.S. government's official policy, and are using their massive political power and money to oppose the peace plan John Kerry is currently trying to push through. That's the two-state solution that would give the Palestinians the West Bank and Gaza Strip, and the Israelis would get the rest, hopefully ending all the violence. The evangelicals that not only lobby well, Washington it. and send money to Israel to fight the two-state solution, they Pons also make up over 40% of American tourists in Israel every year with popular Holy Land pilgrimage 40%. tours. 40%? Many of these... Yes, bro. People... This is why... This is why they go. The, bro, They're not going for the falafel. So funny. This is why I think it's so f funny that people are always like, oh, dude, this is like... Like, anti-Semites who are... Fixated with AIPAC. Anti-Semites who are... With... Not just like... No, being fixated with AIPAC is understandable, but like a lot of people well, don't understand... Depends Depends uh, under which pretext, but yeah. yes. But we'll a lot of yes. people don't understand. It is just like the NRA. AIPAC only exists as a viable political entity, not because of some like outsized influence that Jewish people have, yeah. but because it corresponds to a legitimately... And I mean popular. When I say popular, I don't mean like it's a good thing, but a very popular sentiment expressed by the voters. Guns are very popular in America. The NRA is not there to make guns popular. The NRA is only there to make politicians vote in the direction that they were already going to vote in normal times when times are tumultuous. And mm. APAC does the exact same thing. Right. Their it's entire goal fear, is to... Fear, fear mongering to make you kind of like have yes. this defensive voting fear, mechanism. Yeah, or yeah. fear mongering to say like, oh yeah, you're going to fucking speak out against Israel? We're dumping $5 million to your like local race. Sure. And they've done that before. Yeah. But ultimately, they're, 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 they're not creating the pro-Israeli sentiment or pro-Israel sentiment rather... The pro-Israel sentiment exists in America for multiple different a, reasons. A myriad of reasons, which we yeah. talked about before, even yeah. that whole spectrum that and, we talked and about. And the reality is that um, this is what causes so many people to just point it at the Jews. Like, to be like, oh, no, like, oh, it's the Jews that are doing this. It's the Jews that are doing that. It's like, no, man, it's the f Christians, okay? I've said this before. If 99% of American Jews were, like, rabid anti-Zionists, okay, somehow. Tomorrow, everyone was like, I'm Chomsky, okay? Every American Jew tomorrow came out and was like, not in our name, yeah. we're done with this shit, yeah, yeah. stop it now. America would still Ew. absolutely mm. fund Israel and would absolutely continue on funding Israel and saying, go ahead, do whatever the f*** you want to do. Mm. Partially because of the evangelical Christian support, mm. but more importantly than that, because of America's imperialist interest in maintaining Israel as a forward operating base with nukes. Yeah, I just don't like the word imperialist because it's it's there's there's more modern ways to say that. It's it's modern. It's not even imperialist. It's geopolitics. Yeah. It's post Cold no, but War. That's, that's what I. I mean, sure. look, I'm a I'm I'm old school. I you're guess. old school. I'm, well, yeah, you're Turkish mostly. A, a little bit of a you're a Turk. A, a little bit of a Leninist uh, appreciation for America's sure. actions. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's where that's where it stems from is that like America has a genuine interest in operating in, in maintaining Israel in the way that it is of course. as a destabilizing force in the region yeah. that is not ultimately as autonomous as like people would like uh, to think it is.
ask Iran. Yeah. I mean, stay, the, 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 region, the region to begin with is a hotbed for proxy wars. And America is one of the players in those proxy wars. Yeah. Okay. Let's Tours actually out. have stops in the Israeli settlements, or which are used by the settlers to solicit donations for their cause. We're in Karnei Shamram, Israeli settlement. We're about to meet Sandra, who deals with Pastor Hagee in uh I went to United jail States. for six months over a Facebook Orthodox. post. Holy shit. I live in Jerusalem. I was just sharing posts that show what is happening in Gaza. I was not really calling for anything bad towards anyone, and I had special forces at my door after a couple days. Get him on the chat. He is in the chat. Uh, on mean. the show. Get him on FaceTime. I live there at the moment, and I can tell you right now, these people are beyond evil. Bro, I, I feel like he's going to go to jail again. If yeah, he yeah, fucking, yeah. Take that down, bro. He, unscreenshot this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bro. Incredible. I got to go. You, oh, you're leaving? I got to run. Oh, dude, dude, this is incredible. Okay. All, All right, right, bro. Dave One, thank you so much for oh, coming. Thank you. Thanks for Don't having me. Don't get your me. water. Yes. One for the road. One for the road. A little road yeah, soda. Thank you so All much. Right. Thank you. All right. Later. All right, let's finish this. Jew, and right now she's hosting a bunch of uh, Christian Australians who are touring the settlement and hopefully coughing up the bills. To make the settlements more relatable <coughs> to their Christian friends, Sandra and her organization used the palace. Come on, come on, don't even f troll right now. Don't even troll. It, it, you're so stupid. Take a day off. Palestinian territories' biblical names of Judea and Samaria. It is for us as people who believe in the Bible is to stand on the moral and spiritual right of the Jewish people to Judea and Samaria. Amen? Amen. Amen. Good. After Sandra's presentation, we reboarded the bus to see the settlement for ourselves. Come on, guys. I want you to try to punch him in the stomach. Let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, our Arab neighbors also have these kinds of guns. You Unfortunately. God damn. These are all... Christian Zionists, by the way, American Christian Zionists. So these people like Obama for giving Israel Iron Dome? No, they hate Obama because he's black. And think Obama also is a Jew hater. <laughs> and not the kind that, not the kind that I like, you know? I hate Obama. I hate Obama because he's Kenyan. I personally believe that Jews have horns and tails, but also I think that they belong in Israel, far away from me. And Obabe does not care about them going to Israel. Missoula Star Fox and Zealous Crow, thank you for the five community to give the subs. By the way, the tail, the tail thing and the horn thing is something that I've directly heard from my Jewish friends that have visited places in the South, okay? Like, we got people who are, like, direct dick riders of the Israeli state that love funding the settlements who legitimately think that, like, Jews have horns and tails, okay? There is no better... There is no better demonstration of like uh, ultra Zionist Christianity and 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 how anti-Semitic that is. I am Jewish, raised in Knoxville, Tennessee. Buckle the Bible Belt, and they openly said I was going to hell. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Spice lasers is another another good one. To be protected with something like this. How important is Christian support for uh, spe specifically for the settlement? Christian support for the Jewish presence in Judea and Samaria is critical because it's a very large group of people all over the world, and we need to hear their voices, and thank God they are raising their voices on this issue louder and louder every day. Another Christian Holy Land tour leader is evangelical pastor Irvin Baxter, whose end-time ministries takes its flock to Israel twice a year. The focus of their tours is actually the real reason evangelicals overwhelmingly want the Jews to control all of Israel, which is the actual end times, as in Armageddon. Because, according to their interpretation of the Bible, Jewish control of the yes, Holy Land is lead directly we to the second coming of Christ. We watched this back in the day, remember? The word Arm Remember that movie? We, we watched that movie entirely on stream before. It's such a good movie. Armageddon is actually two words. Har Megiddo, or Hill of Megiddo. You are standing on the hill of Megiddo right now. The final act of the book of Revelation is going to begin right here at this place. And when Israel is about to be defeated, the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ himself will intervene. It says it this way, the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God. He is going to defeat the Antichrist, He's going to defeat the false prophet. Both of them will be cast alive into the lake of fire. At that time, Satan is going to be bound for the next 1,000 years, and we are going to crown Jesus Christ as King of Kings 
and Lord of Lords. Real quickly, I will take time for a few questions. What will be happening in Maryland at that time? <laughs> uh, well, I can't tell you for sure if Maryland will still be there or not. In addition to Armageddon, Pastor Baxter's End Times tour hits all the other local attractions associated with the apocalypse, including the most contested piece of real estate on the planet, Jerusalem, which houses some of the most sacred sites for Jews, Muslims, and Christians alike. It's also where Jesus lands at the grand finale of the End Times, which doesn't pan out so great for the Jews. Two-thirds of Israel will die. It's Zechariah 13, I think, maybe verse 7, 8, 9, right in that area. Yeah. It's, that two -thirds. it's pretty funny that they, like, he, he doesn't even hide it. He's like, yeah, some of you Jews are going to die. And the rest of you that don't convert to Christianity, well, you're going to die too. You're going to go to hell, I mean. <laughs> it's insane. It is literally a, a death cult. Like, it, it is, it's, it's so psychotic. Thirds will die. God, I wish David saw this part. One third will be brought through the fire, and that one third will then turn to Messiah in mass when he comes back. And the scripture says that they yeah, will see, run. Yeah, see, they're gonna they're gonna convert like immediately, instantaneously. They're gonna convert to. Uh, Sam Cedar once told me his in his youth that a girlfriend checked his head for horns. So f to him, and when they bow to worship him, Zechariah thirteen six says they're gonna notice he's got wounds in his feet and in his hand, and they're gonna say. You're Jesus? Oh, Messiah, we've been so stubborn, we've been so proud, we've been so blind. Could you ever forgive us? And 2,000 years of blindness is going to come peeling off the Jewish mind. Mm -hmm. And those of us that have been up, caught up in the rapture and come with Jesus here to... Because okay. the Christians have been raptured out. All who are born again yeah. will have been raptured. When Jesus comes, we'll be caught up to meet him in the air. Yeah. And then we will come with him to the Mount of Olives. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to be watching this whole panoramic thing unfold uh, as the Jewish people turn to their Messiah. We're going to be converting people by the hundreds of thousands during this time. It's going to be the best of times and the worst of times. While the two-thirds of Jews who die are definitely... Like, dude, 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 dude. These motherfuckers don't miss a city council meeting. Like, bro, bro, bro. Like my man said, the Jewish mind of two thousand years of, of, you know, wrong think is gonna be cleared. Okay, think about that. Like, does that strike you as the words of a man who is uh, not anti-Semitic? <laughs> Getting the worst of times into the stick, it's a little less clear how the rest of the world fares in the pastor's end of days scenario. Can America get on the right side of Armageddon by supporting Israel? Americans can let their uh, legislators know, oh, yeah. support Please. Israel. Right now, under the present Obama administration, uh, there seems to be a drift somewhat away from Israel, at least a determination to force Israel to do what America thinks it should do. The only way for Israel to endure and thrive as a Jewish and democratic state is through the realization of an independent and viable Palestine. The Jewish people should say, look, this is our promised land. The Bible says we should not give it up, so we're not giving it up. You have to respect our religion. Aside from potentially derailing an otherwise pretty solid peace plan, Christian support for the- By the way, uh, who was it that originally said, uh, was it John Kerry? Israel can't be a democratic state and a Jewish one. Can't have both. Who was it that said that? I think it was John Kerry, right? Is John Kerry, think about like, think about the changing of the narrative. Where is it? 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 I'm sure it's in here somewhere. I think it was John Kerry that said, Israel can either be a Jewish state or a democratic state. It cannot be both. Uh, there are uh, a, a, a similar number of Jews and Palestinians living between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea. They have a choice. They can choose to live together in one state or they can separate into two states. But here is a fundamental reality. If the choice is one state, Israel can either be Jewish or democratic. It cannot be both. He was so right, by the way. It's not an incredibly rare John Kerry W. John Kerry has some... John Kerry has some decent 
No, he's not. This is not genocidal rhetoric. The fuck are you talking? Oh, oh, you mean like anti, uh, anti Semitic? You mean like as a joke? No, John Kerry is right. John Kerry is absolutely correct. I'm showing this as a moment for you guys to understand. This is a moment of clarity. Think about how far right we have moved from this position. He was absolutely correct when he said Israel can either be a Jewish state, if there is a one state, Israel can either be a Jewish state or a democratic state. It can't be both. He is right. He's absolutely right. He's saying, exactly, thank you for clarifying. He's saying you can't have a Jewish ethno state and be democratic at the same time. Okay. And the reality is, the reality is, okay, that Barack Obama's sentiment only a couple years after that, which we just saw here, is aside from it up, is a more right wing position. Jewish than that. and democratic. Or no, state before then. Sorry, this was in March 2013. Barack Obama said through the realization of an independent and viable Palestine. And even this was considered to be, uh, like unacceptable at the time. Christian support for the Israeli settlements further makes life a pain in the ass for the Palestinians living nearby. Which is exactly what's happening at Beit Jala, a Palestinian village on the outskirts of Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. Javier Abu Aid is also a Christian, as well as an official in the Palestinian Liberation Organization. We met him at a weekly outdoor mass put on by the Catholic Church as a form of protest against Israeli encroachment. Two years ago, an Israeli court decided to build the wall here, mm -hmm. where we are. So basically, all this valley that you see here, it's going to be on the Israeli side of the wall. Hello, how are you? Hey, how are you? He's not saying that though. The qualifier is that a one state solution can either be Jewish or democratic for a two state. He doesn't have this critique. I get the point you're making. He's still liberal Zionist. Yes, I, I understand that. For example, he's one of the 58 landowners that are going to lose their land here. Mm. It's in, in our 58 Palestinian Christian families yeah. that are going to lose their land here. And you're not talking about, you know, immigrants that came here. You know, you're talking about indigenous population of this land. We are standing now. Ironic, because the OG Christians too. Over a territory that no one in the world, not even the like OG Christians, who originally were Jewish. That's who you're fucking killing. You're killing the descendants whose ancestors were the OG Jews who stayed, converted to fucking Christianity, and were the OG Christians. It's nuts, dude. It's fucking nuts. It's so, it's so crazy that people literally don't recognize this where they, where, where they think like, no, you don't understand. Like these guys got to go. They got to go. They got to go. It's like, bro, what the fuck do you mean? Like whenever people say, whenever people say like, oh, this land belonged to us 3000 years ago. I'm like, bro, you're trying to kill people. That have been there that didn't leave like you're you're trying to kill your own ancestors it may uh, or you, the descendants of your own ancestors it makes no fucking sense this is a part of israel i know a lot of evangelicals it's really big in america right now to support israel because they say you know well the bible says israel belongs to the jews and a lot of them also believe that once the jews take over all of israel then they get to have armageddon no i don't i read the bible and I never saw that the Bible says that God is a real estate agent. <laughs> Those Christian Zionist organizations, they are not giving money actually to the state of Israel. They are giving money to the most ideological settlers. Okay. And of course, I don't think that's a very Christian act. If I were a Palestinian Christian, I wouldn't involve myself in this conflict. I'd stay out of it and say, look, I know what's coming. What? I'm going to serve Jesus Christ. When he gets here, he'll straighten all this out. <laughs> He's going well, to Baxter's all advice for Christians on the ground is basically just to bunker down and get ready for the inevitable. He and his fellow Christian Zionists in America are working full tilt to make the end of days a reality, and are using the voting strength of their followers to try and get Washington on their side. And in a political conflict that's already been hijacked by religious zealots on both the Palestinian and Israeli side, adding millions of doomsday-ready American evangelicals to the table is like pouring gas on the fire in the most flammable region in the world.